turns has a little bit of play 460 because of bears we're just going to go over this real quick because i'm not sure if we already did i beams for uh, ganta crane jeff paid eric for stickers got them all over here to series c j pay dirt diesel power 50 whore 50 i call it a 50 50 paint job yeah 50 feet or 50 mile an hour look great 50 50 and this one here the undercarriage is brand be newbie him and his nephew built it and then um, he hadn't even put any oils in the bottom one yet Okay, this one's got the uh, this one is the 57 Got the Heister D4N which is integrated to the transmission This one is uh, the 50 whore It is a 60 D6 That one's a D4. This one's a D6 This one's a D4. This is a 58 and 60 Old paint job, new paint job, not the right sticker. Uh, okay. Vickers pump. And uh, gotta go get some tools. Anyway, see you guys later. Let you catch me later. While I'm still thinking about it, I'll show you. Now they had that blocked off. Now this is the manifold for the early series. The 2T2. And then, and then the block is a D13. And then this, this hose was wrapped around here like that. That's blocked off. And the thing in the back, back there is blocked off. And then the exhaust over there was blocked off with a piece of... of uh, Plastic. Looks like maybe a, I don't know, part of a bleach jug or something. Uh, so it wasn't circulating, it wasn't heating the exhaust, or it wasn't heating the intake, it wasn't heating the, the head. It was basically it was just uh, running both motors. Uh, so important to get the right parts that's why you have to um, when you when you're online you have to post the numbers when you're talking about cats you have to post the serial number uh, which is located on the other side right across over here on this one and there's another location see it's very important to have those numbers otherwise you're gonna get the wrong parts I guarantee it that's why they ask every time, you know, you go to a website when, when you're talking about Caterpillar. And over here, I need to brush this side up. That tag is right there. And then there's another tag back here on the very back. Sometimes they have winches that have... Now that tag is for the transmission. Now I've got the uh, pony motor pulled back so I can get in here. I'll show you how they got that. That blocked off there. I don't know, can you see that? It's a piece of diamond plate. Okay. And uh, I guess it's uh glued probably uh, JB weld that's okay that stuff comes off but uh, yeah they had that blocked off kind of stupid yeah I'm kind of stupid you're upside down aren't you but yeah and then they had the the exhaust blocked off over here and uh, coolant blocked off over there and a coolant blocked off here so 
this wasn't transferring any heat to this thing all it was doing was running this turning this over and wearing this out now let's see if we can turn it on the right way okay there's uh when you go to pull this rocker arm assembly off you need to pull the decompression oh you don't want to lose this little detent here so be careful shoot across the woods there but this there's a, a screw cap bolt right here that goes into that which locks this in or out of, of uh, decompression so you want to leave one of these end ones down nearly all the way not all all the way but nearly all the way so you can get you know this loose uh, the, the oil get these loose then you can pull oh and the other thing you need to do is pull this keyway woodruff key right here and uh, then there's another bolt and there it is. there's another bolt here 7 16 that goes right in behind here so you can pull your decompression out right now remember about the detent back there and the uh, woodruff key all right I'm gonna pull a woodruff key, I need two hands, later hosen. But this is the, uh, uh, oh, I think this one's called the tall tank. But when I first got, when I first saw this was in the, in the trees, in a bunch of trees and stuff, and that looked like a G. And uh, I thought it was a Series G, but they corrected me over on uh, uh, Antique Caterpillars, uh, AC, MOC. Um, boy, them guys know their stuff. And uh, I'll let you know if you're wrong. Eh, I've made a mistake before. There it is. I knew it came down here somewhere. I'm always finding treasures in there after they slip down. Anyway, we got uh, got caught with our panties down last night. Had to make do with what we had, getting covered up. Wendy, nasty, but she's always nasty. Wendy, uh, I've known her for a long time. Anyway, uh, I got as far as, let's see what we got. Let me pull this off. Oh, yes. Love to be alive. Love to be alive. You, you there, go over there, will you? Don't drop any water in the motor. It's rainy. I call it misty. It's misting today. So I'm in the process of pulling the uh, rocker cover or rocker arms and uh, this little divot that that keyway has to come out. You have to make sure that this is off. Then you pull your uh, compression lever out and I was just getting to that part and uh, then I had to hustle up and get some important stuff covered up so I need a shop I need a shop real bad I have no idea I don't even know if you guys can see this let me make sure you guys can see this where I got this tool uh, Napa, I don't know, but I love it. It is an absolute lifesaver. It goes from three eighths to half inch, and then from half inch to three eighths. So it's a step down and a step up. It's it's really stiff, and that's what I like. I mean, one handed, it's hard, but you can see how it works, and. Uh, that's the patent number 
I, uh, I I really like it. I don't know. I don't even remember where I got it, but it sure comes in handy. You grab that, a couple of sockets. It don't matter which, you know, what drive socket you got. You got it. Uh, and these, uh, man, those are really really sharp. I really like those with the ratchet ends. And this one has a little uh, thing on. I had to, I had to have a half inch. I couldn't find my half inch. I was in the lower 48. Couldn't find my half inch. Of course, it's like the 10 millimeter. When you need it, it grows legs and walks away. And so then and as soon as you buy one, you walk over there, you open your toolbox, you throw this one in, and it pops the other one up to the top somehow. But anyway, yeah, I really like that step down, step up. It's a, it's one of the better tools I think I've bought in the last uh, 20 years. We're going to pull this puppy out. And so there's the decompression shaft and I was just about ready. And this morning it seems a little like it don't want to come. So let me do some readjusting here. I've got the uh, decompression pulled out. The thing about the decompression is you have to leave in the uh, rock arm assembly or at least uh, the, the two center ones tight. Um, the one, the other one that I got, the end is bent here because they tried to pull the, like I did, but I caught myself. I didn't pull it. I backed up and, and, uh, the only thing that was giving me fits was this little bit of burr right here on this. I should have grabbed a file and filed them down before I pulled it out. It wouldn't give me no problem at all. Um, but what happens is those springs, the valve springs, push up on the rocker arm assembly and then you can't, this binds up right at the very end and you can't get it out. And the only way to get it out is to pry it out. And then when you pry it out, this bends up. So you have to leave the rocker arm assembly attached you know it doesn't have to be tight it just needs to be down so that this can slide out because it's at the bottom it goes through each one of the rocker arm uh, uh, braces that goes up to the, the towers that go up to the rocker arm assembly so um, be sure to do that and uh, it does look like this piece was broken at one time um, I'm not sure how it broke there these usually break here, according to Squanch. And uh, this here looks like this one was milled out. So all I have to do is take and... Uh, I really don't need the manifold, but I'm going to take this and uh, pull that off and face that off real good. Um, I have a mill, but it would take me a week to set it up. So that that's a future winter project, probably. Um what I do need is the other style where the um, coolant comes out here. This is the early style uh, 2T. I need a 2U12A. The other style. I need uh, the old, uh, later style. So um, I'm really disappointed whoever done that. You can see this is all brazed off. I thought it was just a piece of wood, but now I can see it's brass. So, um, that's going to take some redoing or just get another one. i probably redo that one, drill that out, whatever it takes, 220, 221. But anyway, back to the rabbit hole, guys. Got wing.
Okay, what I found in here was uh, just pure filth. Now, what this is right here is what it looks like to me is cottonwood seed or firewood seed. And it, it just, like it's floating around right now. And not, not heavily. But there's a certain amount of it floating around. And uh, um, just filth. I mean, it never got never got cleaned I don't think um, at least for a while and then still saturated it doesn't look like it's got a whole lot of water had a whole lot of water in it um, and then this just imploded probably because the filter was just plumb plugged now it could have been moisture that got into the filter and then or something else I'm, I'm not sure I'm I think it sucks from the outside in but I'd have to find out but yeah it does it have to because that come inside that means that had that had to implode so it's sucking there it's it imploded there so it has to be sucking in so this was this other stuff that came out of here was uh, maybe that's what caused it to do that it feels like some sort of rope or fiber it uh this doesn't feel the same as this here so i don't see any metal that don't mean it's not microscopic and i did want see one little Teeny tiny flake, I think it was. But I mean, look here, it's just dirt, man. Uh, not so much dirt as it is, you know, just not being changed. Uh, seed and whatever's in the atmosphere. So, okay, that's the hydraulics.